Hello folks, it's Curtis from Yeti Auto Detailing. So in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to wash your vehicle in the comfort of your driveway just like us professionals do. Alright, we're going to be using products that I found at Walmart. Alright, so uh, I know when you walk into like Walmart AutoZone and stuff like that, there's a myriad of different products out there. Uh, these are some of the top picks that I picked right up off the shelf that I would pr probably use if I was going to do a DIY wash. Alright. So yeah, just sit back and relax. And I've also been blessed with teaming up with two other auto detailers that are on YouTube as well. Uh, Mr. Phil with Miranda Auto Detailing over in uh, Virginia, as well as Mr. Mike from Mike's Auto Detailing down in California. And I'm pointing this way and that way because that's south and that's east in my direction. <laughs> Right. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm going to leave a link to the next video. This is going to be a chain series. So at the end of my video, you'll click that link. It'll take you right over to Phil's page. He's going to show you some awesome stuff. And then at the end of his, it'll take you right back to Mike's. And then Mike will circle back to me. All right. I'll drop links in the description below to their channels as well. Go on and give them some love. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started, but before we do, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as well as clicking that notification icon so you don't miss any of the fresh new content. Alright folks, so the main things you want to consider when washing your vehicle, right, are our products, alright, what products can you use? All right, so obviously you're gonna need a soap. So here I have Jay Leno's Garage Vehicle Wash Soap. All right, then you're gonna need some form of protectant for the paint. All right, they come in a myriad of different types. There's ceramic sealants, there's ceramic coatings, there's carnauba waxes, there's you know a myriad of different ones. Right here is uh, Jay Leno's Garage Radiant Sprayable Ceramic Sealant. All right, so we're gonna be using that today. For the wheels and tires, we're going to be using Armorall's Heavy Duty Wheel Cleaner. And then for the wheels, we're going to be using Jay Leno's Wheel Cleaner. This has an active iron remover in it, so it's going to remove any embedded contaminants in that uh, in those wheels. And then to top the tires off, we're going to use the tire and uh, trim care from Jay Leno's Garage. All right. Now, wash media. So you want to look for a microfiber wash mitt. This is a Chanel micro microfiber wash mitt with the long fingers, so that's going to trap some embedded dirt and stuff like that to really properly clean the surface. This is just the auto drive wash mitt from Walmart. All right. Then to dry it, we're going to use the Platinum Series drying towel. Uh, pretty good size. This is the first time I've ever used this one, so I'm anxious to see. I don't like that it has an edge on it, but that's okay. We can get by with that all right but yeah it's a pretty good size pretty good size drying towel all right again like i said i've picked all of this stuff up from my local walmart so i know it can be done all right to apply the sealant you want kind of a, a cush type microfiber these are the auto drive waterless wash towels uh, I picked them up because they have a nice high pile on both sides. They're kind of plush and they should do just fine removing that sealant. All right. And then for the wheels, sorry about that, I had to grab my other brush. So for the face of the wheels, we're going to be using the soft bristle brush from Auto Drive. Uh, you, you don't want to use anything stiff because it can scratch the face of your rims. And then for the tires, we're going to be using the stiffer bristle brush from Auto Drive as well to get the tires clean. All right. And then to get into the wheel wells, so this is the only thing I did not buy from uh, Walmart just because they didn't have one on hand. But this is the Microfiber Madness Wheel Woolly. Now you can get wheel br barrel brushes at Walmart, O'Reilly's, all that other stuff. Uh, they're going to have bristles on them. They work just as fine. All right. All right, folks, so first things first, we're going to have three buckets in this wash, all right? We're going to have a wash bucket, a rinse bucket, and we're also going to have our wheel, wheel and tire bucket, all right? So we're going to go ahead and fill up all three, so we'll go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so 
this is essentially the two bucket method with my wa wash and my rinse bucket, all right? And what's in the bottom of them is going to be a grit guard, all right? This is going to set right down at the bottom. It's going to trap any dirt and debris below the surface of this grit guard and keep the fresh water up top. So once you've filled your bucket, you want to slide it in at about a 45 degree angle and then just push down and it'll set right down at the bottom, just like that. All right, let's go ahead and get our soap put in. All right, so this says two to four ounces in your bucket. It doesn't give a kind of a dilution, so we'll just give it a good squirt in there. And we'll go ahead and put some in our wash bucket as well. All right, so the best way I've learned to make a lot of foam is if you have one of these multi-directional uh, spray nozzles, switch it to jet, dunk it into the water, swirl it around, and then pull it back out. And there we go, we got a ton of suds. We're gonna do the same to here. Wow, we got a ton of suds. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the wheels first. All right, so you always wanna start with your wheels and tires first because they are the dirtiest points of contact on the vehicle. All right, so we'll go ahead and get our wheel cleaner. And we're gonna spray this stuff on. Now this stuff goes on blue and it's supposed to turn white as it cleans. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's give it a good healthy dose. Alright, let that set up for a minute. Get our brushes in our bucket. I'm gonna let it turn turn white for a second pretty good. Still got a little bit of blue on it, so it's still cleaning. I can also start seeing it turn brown. So that's good. That's pulling a lot of the dirt off, right? And then we'll get our tire brush. The scrubby stiff one. And we're just gonna work it around the tire. Now we're going to get our wheel cleaner. We're just going to hose the rim down. Bring it inside the barrel. So we start breaking down some of that brake dust as well. And if you're sensitive to smells, I'm sorry. This stuff is pungent. It's got an iron remover in it. So yeah, it's, it's pungent. Man, oh man, you're going to start to see it turn purple. We're going to let that set for about one to two minutes. Uh, we are in direct sunlight. Ideally, you do not want to be in direct sunlight when you wash a vehicle, but uh, yeah, such as the weather right now. All right, folks, it's been about one to two minutes. We're going to let this, we're going to go ahead and uh, spray this off. You do not want to let that dry on your rim. All right, so we're going to go ahead and spray it off. All right, we're gonna go into our contact wash real quick. And so we'll start with the wheel barrels, all right? Get up in there. Always start at the top first and work your way down. And then we'll work on the face of our, our wheel with our nice soft bristle brush. We'll just give it a good clean. Get all around the lug nuts, face of the cap. All right, we'll go ahead and clean that off. All 
Alright, what you can also do for bigger vehicles or if you have access to the wheel wells, the inner fender wells, you can take that soft bristle brush you had, you can go in with your soap and just clean them up. Just like that. that out. All right, now we're going to go into our contact wash with our wash media. So we've already got our soap under our bucket. So what we're going to do first is we're going to rinse the side of the truck down. All right. And all you're doing is looking to knock the dirt and debris. Go ahead and kick it on the jet and blast it off. If you have a pressure washer, that makes it way easier, but if you don't, that's okay. You can get by with a garden hose. All right, we're going to go ahead and get our wash mitt out. And what you're going to see me do is I'm going to dunk it in the wash bucket first. Get it nice and soapy. And then we'll bring you back up to the panel real quick. And we're going to wash the panel. Now one side, you want to go in straight lines all the way across. And you want to stop right about the body line that denotes the lower half from the upper half. All right. Straight lines all the way across. All right, now you're going to flip your mitt over to the other side and you're going to wash the lower half. All right. Mainly because you don't want to drag that dirt back up onto the upper half. All right. And there you have it. All right, now that I'm done with that process, that panel, I'm going to dunk it into my uh, wash rinse bucket. And we're going to rub it across that dirt guard down at the bottom. Get all that dirt off. And then we're going to wring it out. And we're going to dunk it back into our wash media. All right. All right, let's go ahead and rinse and dry it off. For this, you want the shower. all that stuff in there. Alright. It is okay. It's okay to do an extra rinse. Alright. That's how you're going to avoid water spots. Alright. You want to make sure you get all of that soap off of the car. Alright. Now that it's, it's uh, rinsed. We'll take our microfiber drying towel. Now again, you don't have to get this specific one. You can get any other one you want. Uh, I prefer to use either the Slurpee from Aquafiber or the, uh, the Gauntlet from uh, the Rag Company. But you can use any microfiber as long as it's microfiber. You don't want to use a cotton dry uh, cotton towel from you know inside, like a bath towel. Those, the fibers just aren't as soft and they will scratch your paint. I'm just going to go in straight lines again and dry it off. Now, bonus tip, if you already have a layer of protection, whether it's wax or whatever, and you maintain your vehicle with that, it's going to make your uh, drying experience a whole lot easier. All right. All right, now that we're dry, we're gonna go ahead and protect the paint. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and spray a couple mists and wipe it in. And what we'll do is we'll fold our, our microfiber towel into fourths. All right. We're gonna use this side to massage it and this side to buff it off. All right. So, a few mists, 
all over the panel. We'll massage it in. Oh man, that stuff smells really good. And it's making the paint slick. That's what you want. You want to feel it being slick. All right. Flip it over, and we'll go back over and we'll buff it in. And what you're left with is a nice, glossy, protected surface. Beautiful. All right, folks, so tire dressings. There are many different ones out there, all right? Armor All makes them, Turtle Wax makes it, Meguiar's, Mother's, Jay Leno's makes it, Chemical Guys, the list goes on and on. My highest recommendation is get a water-based tire dressing. No, it's not gonna last a month. It'll last maybe eight or nine days. But if you get like a solvent-based dressing like um, Armor All or even Meguiar's has some. They're usually in an aerosol can. You, if you don't get those cured properly, it's going to sling all over your car. You're going to get nice little black spots all over your paint. All right. This stuff will not sling. All right. So you also want to get a, a foam applicator. They're a dime a dozen. You can get them anywhere. Uh, I got this off of Amazon. I'll go ahead and drop that link in the description below. Just make your life a little bit easier. And for bigger lug tires like that, you're gonna to wanna to put about that much on the on the uh, applicator, all right? We're just gonna wipe it in. Man, I'll tell you what, I'm loving the smell of all these Jay Leno products with the exception of that wheel cleaner, it just, ugh. That's okay. They kind of have like a cherry scent to them. They're really nice. And what I'm doing is I'm just making sure I get all the lugs dressed. All right, because you don't want like a splotchy tire or anything like that. Just want to make sure work it into the entire tire all right guys all right folks so that was how to DIY your vehicle right in the uh, comfort of your own driveway using products you can literally go and buy from big box stores like Walmart AutoZone O'Reilly's all those other stores all right so yeah click the link up above that's gonna take you to Phil Miranda's uh, page Miranda Auto Detailing he's gonna show you some cool tricks as well and uh, yeah, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And as always, we'll go from there.